Hey Aquarius, what's going on? I hope everything is going well. Um, We're about to go ahead and hop into your reading, see what's happening with you and the person on your mind, the current connection that you are watching this reading for. Um, <clears throat> this can be romantic or not. This can resonate for someone you're thinking about or someone heavily thinking about you. I've already pulled your cards. I'm looking at the cards right now. Okay. Um, so I'm going to show you the cards. So show you, um, show me pulling the cards. Okay. So you can see, and then we're going to come back and talk about my interpretation, interpretation of it. Aquarius, feel free to like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. If you do choose to subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications bell. All right. And stay tuned. If this resonates, um, we're going to start talking about part two, which is on Vimeo. That link is below in the description, top of the comments. I'm going to show you the cards I pulled to start off part two. And if you want to continue watching, um, like I said, you can uh, click the links. But with that being said, let me show you the cards for what's currently happening and then come back. Okay, Aquarius, so you see the cards. Um, let's talk about what I'm picking up on. So the energy of the connection is carnelian spirit. Carnelian spirit, uh, which is a five. Five is a number of change. And the change seems to be you're, you're moving in a new direction, okay? possibly coming out of conflict with whoever this King of Wands is. Okay. This could be a Leo. This could be any of the fixed signs. I also saw, I showed you the King of Pentacles. So this could be a Taurus. Definitely. It could be because you have earth here with the rabbit. So, um, Leo Taurus energy <clears throat> it could be an Aries or a Sag, but it looks like you're coming out of some sort of conflict with this king of wands all right and you're moving forward in a new direction a number of you you it looks like you're speaking with someone new okay or another connection <clears throat> excuse me I'll just say, yeah, pro probably a new connection uh, because you show up here. You are King of Swords. So your energy is very, uh, I will say that King of Swords is your energy. It's Aquarius. And you also have the Six of Swords, which is Mercury in your sign. So 
I see you in your power, Aquarius, and you are doing something you want to do here. You're moving in a direction that feels right to you. I'm getting that. Okay. This feels right to you. Okay. Hold on. I'm getting like moving in silence too. Like you're, you could be, oh, you know, I just got this term. Um, as well, we've all heard of like quiet quitting. Okay. This could be in relation to work too, by the way, uh, quiet quitting relationships. So this could be you like quiet quitting this connection with this King of Wands. All right. So yeah, just like you're moving away very quietly. Okay. M moving in a new direction, but you're moving towards something that you like. And I'm going to get back to Carnelian spirit. I'm sorry, but you're moving in a direction and it does feel new because ironically with the earthworm, this is my full card. Again, your energy. This is something that you're doing that you want to do Aquarius. Um, your earthworm indicates like doing something new, being shy, hesitation. All right. But I see you taking new steps and it's with someone you like a situation you like. Okay. Um, you're expressing, you know, you, you could be expressing interest in, um, this individual, another individual. I don't think this is with this King of Wands. Okay. So this is you moving in, in some sort of new direction. Um, yeah. And it says romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. I think you're flirting with someone here, Aquarius. Okay. Um, and earthworm is very interesting when it, you know, when it comes to this combination with carnelian spirit, because it says, um, there is strength in allowing yourself to be vulnerable. After all, intimacy and trust can only be built if you let yourself be seen as you really are, which I said, you are showing up as yourself moving in a new direction. It's like you're presenting yourself to someone here, someone new. I get that. Okay. <clears throat> and let me see. When carnelian spirit appears, it's not a time for second guessing yourself. Did you forget? Did you forget how much power you have to create the reality you wish to experience? Um, it says this stone is a, it's a stone of confidence, courage, and action. Fantastic for those who are prone to procrastination or have difficulty gathering the courage to take the first step, which is the earthworm. But I see you, it's almost like you've gathered up the courage to take the first step, to move in a new direction that feels right for you. Okay. And I feel like it's out of conflict with this King of Wands. Okay. Now you have the, them showing up with the rabbit. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart because the rabbit showed up for Virgo. All right. So you may want to check out that reading, but you probably don't have to, cause this feels very similar. Um, <clears throat> the rabbit, ha your person is not really sure what's going on with you. A number of you Aquarius, you could, you may not be speaking to who this is. You may not be opening up to who this is. Okay. Okay. 
this person could be fearing the worst. It even it looks like they probably have turned their back on you, Aquarius, but you know, there is a part of them that is worried that they don't know what's going to happen. Okay. Whoever this is, I feel like they're very focused on whatever, whatever happened with you two. I feel like there's still, whenever I see this King of Wands, I see them looking at that burning building. It's like this person is still, um, needs more time because I saw that. I think I showed you all that. Needs more time. Takes time. Like this person is still processing maybe what has happened with you two, Aquarius. For some of you, this may have been pretty bad. Okay. Um, this may have been a, a pretty negative. Like if there, there's been some sort of ending with this person, it was, um, it may have been, it may have, you know, it's still, I'm getting like, it still burns. Like, you know, it's, it's, there's still, I think that it's coming to a close, you know, I feel like this person is just kind of like at the end of, of the process. Okay. But okay. So <clears throat> for a number of you, hold on for a number of you. You, yeah, I don't get like you're talking to who this is. You, or you may not have spoken to who this is in a while. And I kind of get like this is somebody thinking about you, Aquarius. Like they're thinking about you. And some of them are fearing the worst as to what's going to happen. Okay. Interestingly enough, your person also shows up with ascending. Whoever this is, they show up with ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Okay. I feel like you show up with abundance, by the way. I think that you've manifested something that you want and that's what you're moving towards. You manifested something or someone that you want here and you're, you're taking steps towards that Aquarius. I think your person is the one with, you know, they're, they're healing. Your person's going through this healing process and Remember I said, I feel like they're dealing with the last of it, which probably is them uh, transcending, like the connection with you, Aquarius, with whatever happened with you, it may have been some sort of obstacle that this person had to, you know, had to um, overcome. Because I did see it was a king of pentacles with the three of swords. So a number of you, you were in a relationship with who this was. And I mean, whether it was official or not, like you, you were in a relationship with this person. Okay. So I feel like they're making progress here, Aquarius. And yeah, like I, for a number of you that were in a relationship or marriage with who this was, I'm telling you, like what I get, whoever this is going to resonate the strongest with is it ended pretty badly. Like it, it was not good. Okay. So this person is still dealing with the aftermath. That's what I'm getting here. Whoever this King of Wands is, is dealing with the aftermath still, still of, um, what what was going on 
for what happened with you two. All right, so yeah, there's they're finishing up that process. They don't know what's going to happen with you. I, you know. Whoever this is wonders if you're coming back, like there's a lot of nervousness associated with that Aquarius. Like this person's like thinking about that. Like is Aquarius going to come back? Okay. Bob, if I can be honest with you, because I'm getting, okay, Aquarius, I'm going to be very honest with you. Um, for some of you, this person's not ready for you to come back. It, that That is the feeling that I get with this rabbit, okay? Which, I, I mean, for a number of you, you're, you're moving in a new direction, so I don't think that you're necessarily concerned about that. I don't know why, who this is, is coming in, but they are like... Maybe I think because they're have this person is having anxiety about you. So for some of you, you could be looking to watch this reading for someone else, someone new. But this person showing up, um, because that it, something feels very unfinished between you two. There was never, there was never really like closure here. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much longer. Um, all right. Cause I'm getting this cause I feel like whoever this is, they, they, they are, they're moving into a new phase, new phase of their life. Okay. Whatever happened, like I said, it was an obstacle. They had to overcome it. King of Wands will overcome an obstacle. Fire sign. But whatever connection I'm picking up on for you two Aquarius, it changed. It changed this person. It probably made them stronger. Um... <clears throat> so they have become a different version of themselves. They've ascended. Uh, the Phoenix, Phoenix from the ashes. There's, this is cross watcher. There's cross watchers watching this. So cross watcher, you ascended from this connection. A Phoenix from the ashes. All right. But this was something, because I saw that three of swords, there was a lesson here for both of you. And Aquarius, I think that you are moving forward currently in a new direction and you're feeling more confident. You're feeling more in your power. Um, you have also, look at the butterfly on the King of Swords, you've also changed, you've evolved. Okay. But yeah, this, this person, so I don't feel like you, I mean this, I don't know, this connection is coming through for a reason. All right. Um, it's definitely coming through for a reason, Aquarius. <clears throat> but I get more anxiety and fear from who this is. It can be that. For some of you, this person is like, they're not ready for you to come back in. Okay. That, that makes them, that makes them worried, whoever this is. For some of you, this person is like, if Aquarius comes back in, how is Aquarius going to show up? There it is. It's two ways because they're like, they may feel like it's too soon or for them, the timing needs to be right. There's something about the timing here, okay? 
So it's not necessarily that for some of you, it's not that this person doesn't want you to show up. It's that it's how are you going to show up if you do? Okay. But that lack of control right there, I'm getting, there's something about a lack of control with that Aquarius that makes this person very nervous. They don't like it. Okay. I'm, that's what I'm getting. So, um, feel free to like, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel Aquarius. I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to pull the cards now for your extended. I'm like, I, I mean, I'm going to do an extended, um, because some of you, maybe, you know, you want to understand more. I see you. I, I feel like the extended. Um, I'm going to touch a bit more on the new connection, too, that I see you moving forward in. All right. Um, and I will also talk about who this person is. I came in through your reading because obviously, like, that's the energy that came through. Um, some of you may have questions, Aquarius, some of you may have questions about that too. Um, so, okay. I'm going to pull the cards for what I see happening next in the connection here. And then we're along with that in the, the extended reading Aquarius. Um, we're going to talk about your advice. What does uh, this person want the relationship to be? Okay. With you, what do they think is going to happen? What outcome do I get with you too? Okay. And, uh, I'm going to pull from the time Oracle deck to give you a timeline of forward movement. And, uh, what else? I think that's it. And your advice. Okay. How should you be showing up in this connection? So Aquarius, if you want to get a preview for that, see if you want to watch the Vimeo, keep watching for the cards. If this is where we part ways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching your reading. I really hope the message helps <laughs> and um, I'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.